Open Heavens on the Go, Monday, December 27th, 2021. Topic, The Holy Spirit, Part 2. Memory Verse, Ezekiel 36, 26. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you an heart of flesh. Bible reading, Ezekiel 36, 24 to 27. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and ye shall be clean. From all your filthiness, and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you an heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statutes, and ye shall keep my judgments and do them. The message. One thing about fire is that it can destroy completely. When it is done consuming something, that thing becomes ashes and it can never return to the state in which it was before. The Holy Spirit can consume your bad habits and even your wrong desires. He can consume it all to the extent that people who used to know you be wondering if you are the same person. Before the Holy Spirit came into me, I could hardly cry. Even when my father died, I wanted to cry, but I just couldn't. When the Holy Spirit came in, however, he turned my stony heart to flesh. Now, if I just see someone crying, tears begin to flow from my eyes. Today, when people see Pastor Adeboye, they think I was born a saint. Thank God for the Holy Spirit that can completely erase certain behaviors from one's life. Before I met Christ, I had so many girlfriends that I lost count. I am sharing this with you so that you know that God can erase any bad, ha bad habit or character from your life completely. Among all these girls, there was one that was closest to me. We did all sorts, but after some time, we separated. She went her way and I went mine. She got married and I also got married. Many years later, this lady had a child that was born lame and someone referred her to me for prayers. When she arrived at the mission house and discovered I was the pastor to whom she had been referred, she said, You? You will pray and God will answer? Well, I prayed and God did answer. It doesn't matter how bad you are now, God can change you and make you holy if you are willing. The Holy Spirit does not force you to change. He will only consume those bad habits when you allow him to. Do you find it difficult to control your flesh? When it comes to sexual immorality, he can consume all those inordinate sexual desires if you are willing to allow him. You should cooperate with him when he says, don't visit that website. Don't answer that person's phone call. Stop following those people on social media and so on. Do you have the inordinate, inordinate desire to be rich and sometimes contemplate lying and doing other things to make it come to pass quickly? The Holy Spirit can take that desire away completely if you allow him. The worst criminal can become the holiest saint if he lets the Holy Spirit walk in and on him or her. 
prayer point. Lord, please let your Holy Spirit come and burn off every bad habit in my life. Mention the habits you are strongly struggling with, if any, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, please let your Holy Spirit come and burn off every bad habit in my life. Mention the habits you are struggling with, if any, in the mighty name of Jesus. Bible reading in one year, 2 John. In for today, we are never weary of the grand old song. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.